Hello, my name is John and I'm the Science Educator for Children's Museum Houston. We are in our How Does It Work exhibit all the way at the back at our science station. And today we are going to build a small device to help us sense if there is static electricity. To build your electroscope, you need a plastic bottle or a glass bottle will work also. You'll need a sponge that you'll eventually cut into smaller pieces, aluminum foil, that you'll eventually cut into smaller pieces. And then you'll need some copper wire, which we will use to actually, this is the core of the electroscope. And then you'll need a few different utensils here. You'll need a hole punch, scissors, and wire cutters. The first step of building your electroscope is to cut your sponge into smaller squares or rectangles, because this will be the cork stopper of your electroscope. The second step of your electroscope is to cut a small piece of wire. And we'll just do a little bit of bending. On one end, it'll kind of look like a fish hook. And then on the other end, we're gonna spiral the wire. Kind of look like this. The third step is to cut our aluminum foil into thin strips like this. Once you have your thin strips, you need two of them. And you're going to put a hole punch at the end. And this will tell us if we have static electricity or not. So now the final step will be to assemble everything and we'll be able to test it. So you'll take the fish hook end of your wire and you'll loop your two pieces of aluminum foil on. So they'll be dangling. Now this is the tricky part because you have to slide this in while keeping them on the hook into your bottle. This is where our cork comes into play. We will wrap the wire and then you'll stick it right into the top of the bottle. Might need to do a little bit of adjusting. Maybe extend this a little more. Put this down. You want to make sure that your aluminum foil is somewhat in the middle of the bottle because you don't want it to have any contact with the edge. Let's use our electroscope to test if this balloon has a static charge. The electrical charges from the balloon move to the metal and down to the aluminum foil leaves. Since each foil leaf has the same charge, positive or negative, they repel each other. The electroscope will work best if the foil pieces are flat as possible. Thank you guys for tuning in today and building our electroscope. If you guys are following along through YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Again, my name is John, coming to you from Children's Museum Houston, and we will see you next time.